Hi, this is Amanda Alexander from CoachingMums.com. What do Gwyneth Paltrow, Anna Wintour and Michelle Obama have in common? Well, they are all early risers. Michelle Obama, when she was interviewed on the Oprah show, said that she realised that she would have to get up early if she was going to take care of herself to exercise. Similarly, Gwyneth Paltrow, uh, who we all know is a mad yoga bunny and uh, somewhat extreme dieter, gets up at 4.30. Now, she says that she's not a natural early riser, but she just knows that it's important for her to do this. Anna Wintour gets up at uh, silly o'clock and she is on the tennis court by 6 a.m. Now, if you're anything like me, you have probably looked with fascination at uh, the stories you might have heard about how successful people are early risers. And you might have heard the quote by Benjamin Franklin. Uh, it goes something like, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy and wise. Now, I have always hankered after being oh, healthy, wealthy and wise, touch wood so far pretty healthy and uh, not sure about the wise and not sure about the wealthy. I have decided that I am going to become one of those early risers and I would like to know if you would like to join me. I'm going to be doing a challenge and it's going to start on Monday the 13th of January. Now before I start that challenge I want to share something and I'm going to share something very personal that up to now I have only shared um, with individual clients. I might have alluded to it very, very um, obliquely in previous emails to you, but I've never actually come out and said it. Um, but today, in this video, <laughs> in public, I'm going to say it. And what I want to tell you is why it's so important for me to become one of those early risers, one of those successful people who, who get up early. It's because, probably like you, I find I just do not have enough hours in the day. I'm a mum, I'm a working mum. I have two boys, they are seven and 11. My oldest boy, Max, he goes to high school now. And I found that rather than having more time with him going to high school, I actually have less time before the boys used to go to after school club a couple of nights a week. Now Max is back at four every day and, and you know that's time when, when I am here. But there's another reason that I have less time and here it is and, and this is my big reveal. This is my big vulnerable bit. Uh, I'm building up to this and there's a little thing going in my head saying just spit it out Amanda. So this is it. Okay my big why for getting up early is that um, I have to, I have to take my business to the next level and I need more time to do that and the reason uh, that I have to take my business to the next level, the reason that I really have very little choice is this. Last year in September um, my husband and I split up. Uh, this was building up to this over the year uh, and it finally happened in, in September. So I'm now a single mum. Now don't get me wrong, I haven't been abandoned and uh, Chris is a very, very lovely man and we are co-parenting and in some respects there's times when I don't have the boys, when he has the boys, when I do have more time. But generally, here I am in the house by myself. Uh, what was uh, tasks that were once shared are not shared. It's just me. So, there it is. My big why for growing the business is that I don't want to be a poverty stricken single mum. And believe you me, that fear is never far from me. Before I ran my business coaching mums for 10 years, excuse me I'm holding this so I'm kind of getting a bit arm ache here. I ran it for 10 years um, and it was, it was doing pretty well. It's ticked along quite nicely, thank you. 
however, I lived with Chris, who was the main breadwinner. Um, and now we have got two households instead of one. And you can imagine that's extra costs and that's a strain on finances. And believe you me, you know, I'm not in the position where we are rich and we could just go our separate ways and for money not to be an issue. Money is an issue. My business needs to grow. I have got a very clear goal and I've got a strategy, but to implement that strategy, I need time. And I believe that the way that I am going to get that time to work on my business is early in the morning. Now I'm looking at getting up an hour early. Now for me, that's going to be, it's six o'clock. Now for this challenge, we're, we're setting the time that we're gonna start at 6.15. And that time is time. For me, what I'm gonna do is half an hour yoga, because for me to make a success of this business and for me to be a good mum, uh, I have to be healthy in mind, body and soul and yoga is is going to be my thing that I start the day off with and then I'm going to do half an hour work on the business before all of the stuff starts before all of the emails start before I see start seeing my clients before you know life starts and school runs and breakfast and all of that kind of stuff so that's what I'm going to be doing gosh this is the longest video I have ever shot uh, and I would like you to join me on this challenge. We're gonna do this for six weeks, six weeks. Now they say it takes 21 days to create a habit. I need to cement this. And so we're gonna do it for six whole weeks, not including weekends. You can get up early on weekends if you want, but we're looking at getting up every day, starting Monday the 13th of January at 6.15. And what's gonna happen is we will check in on the Facebook group at 6.15. You will take no longer than one minute just to say, hey, I'm up. And what you're gonna get is accountability. You're gonna get support at the time. We're gonna look at how it's going for us, what's difficult, what's easy. We're going to really emphasize the importance of actually getting to bed early as well. Now this challenge might not be for everybody. It, um, it certainly isn't going to be from everybody. And I can imagine there won't be many people watching this very, very long video. But I think it's important that, that I take the time to, to explain this one. I want to know what your why is. What's your big why? What would you do with an hour extra every single day? As working mums, we are always, always bemoaning the fact that we don't have enough time and nobody's going to give us time. We know it's finite. We know it's that thing in the bank account. We can only withdraw it. We can't deposit it. But what we can do is make a decision and it's not going to be easy, believe you me, it's not going to be easy for me. I am a night owl. I need that time to work on my business. I need that time because it's really important to me. What's important to you? Look, it's a brand new year, it's 2014. What is it that you've been saying you'd always want to do, you'd always like to achieve? What's really important to you? For you to join me on this challenge and get up early and get some time in before the world starts. If you want to join me on this challenge, I'm not giving it away for free. I am giving it away for free, but it's as a bonus for Fab Club members. Now, Fab Club is a coaching gym for working mums that I started last March, and it's fantastic. It combines coaching with me and master classes, and most importantly, support from like-minded fan Fantastic. I mean, fan bloody tastic women. I think you should join Fab and join me on this challenge. For those of you who have watched for this long, I can't believe I've been talking for nine minutes. If you'd like to join me on the challenge and you're not already a Fab Club member, what you need to do is this. Go to coachingmums.com slash Fab Club. That's F for Freddy, A for Alpha, B for Bertie, Fab Club, and join. You can join at bronze level or silver level, it doesn't matter which, and you will still get automatically invited to the six week challenge. I hope you'll, in, I'll help you join me in finding that extra hour in the day, and I'd love to hear what your big why is. So leave me a comment, or just drop me an email. Thanks for watching, bye bye, and happy new year.